I'm Debbie from So So Easy and today we're going to sew the On A Roll t-shirt. It has a, a roll neck, there are three different lengths of sleeve options so you can have short, three quarter or full length sleeves and the pattern for the top is free. You can download it from So So Easy so if you are watching this video on YouTube I'll put a link underneath to where you can find the free download for the pattern. Our first step is going to be to join the shoulder seams. So this is the front of the t-shirt here. This is the back and with right sides together I need to pin these shoulder seams. Now because I'm using quite um, a stretchy knit fabric I'm also going to use this knit stay tape. It's just um, a tape which is going to stop those shoulders stretching out and uh, ending up too large, especially if you have um, full length sleeves. So I'm just going to pop that in place just there and I'll pin and then I'll stitch through and this will just stop those shoulders um, stretching out too far. So I'm going to pin and then stitch both of these shoulders. If you go to the pattern, it also has full instructions including step-by-step -step photos and you'll be able to follow through there and it has advice on what type of um, stitches to use um, and gives you information on seam allowances, how to finish your seams and so on. So all of that is going to be in the pattern instructions so we won't spend too long on that on the video. So that's my shoulders taken care of. Now I just need to stitch those and then we'll be back. My shoulders are now sewn and I've pressed the seam allowance towards the back. These are my little sleeve pieces. I'm making short sleeves on this one. And I've just folded it in half and marked where the centre comes on the top of the sleeve. And this is going to match up with the shoulder seam. So with right sides together, I'm just going to match the shoulder seam there with the centre of the sleeve and just pop a pin in place. Now I'll join up the edge, so I'll take the edge of the sleeve to the edge of the arm over there, another pin, same over this side, that's going to start to look a little bit bunched up, so I'll take that corner of the sleeve to that corner of the armhole. And now it's just a case of evening these out. I'll put a pin in the middle just there. So they're lying pretty smoothly. There's not a lot of ease in these sleeves that has to be eased in, but at least with a knit fabric, that's nice and easy to do. So I'll put a couple just around this curve. and that will be half the sleeve pinned in place and then it's just a case of pinning the other half of the sleeve so that's the first half of the sleeve pinned in and now I'm going to repeat that on the other side just to pin in this other half of the sleeve and then I'll also pin in the sleeve on the other side and then it's just a case of running a stitch all the way from one side round the top of the sleeve and finishing on the other side. So I'm going to add both of my sleeves in now and then we'll come back. So our sleeves are in and I've trimmed and neatened the seams and pressed them all around the shoulders and now it's obviously starting to look a bit like a t-shirt which is great, that's what we want. And if we turn it inside out, shake down from these shoulder seams and now what we're going to do is um, the side seams just here and the underarm are all now going to be sewn in one. Now my arms are just short so I've got a very short piece just here on my arms but if you have longer arms then of course they would go further that way. And we want to start by matching up this underarm seam just here. So once you're happy put a pin either side of that seam. I don't have very much left so I'm just going to carry on and put a pin at the end of my arm. So I've got the sleeve pinned and now I'm going to match up the bottom of the shirt down here and place a pin. And now if I 
straighten it out on my board. I can make sure the two pieces are even and just pin along, start at the centre. A couple more here, it doesn't need a whole load. It's matching up the raw edges. That's the side seam and the underarm seam now pinned and it's a case of start at the bottom of your shirt down here so all the way up this side seam once you get to the underarm here you'll see there's like a, an angle so you'll get to your seam line here pick up your presser foot and just pivot and then sew down to the bottom of your arm even if that's longer keep all the way um, down to the bottom and then do exactly the same on the other side so you'll match up your underarm seam, pin both the arms and the side seams and stitch. So I'll do that now and then we'll come back. So our t-shirt is now ready to try on. The arms are in, the sides are sewn, it's looking like a t-shirt and time to try on now and just see how you like the fit. The size is supposed to have um, a negative ease across the bust so this for um, close fitting across the bust and close fitting in the arms but it has a bit more ease around the body and if you want the t-shirt to be closer fitting then maybe when you try it on you can just um, pin in a little more on these sides to follow your shape if that's what you want. Once you're happy with the fit of the t-shirt it's now time to start working on the neckline. And we have a very simple rectangle that we're going to use to create the uh, the roll for the neck and it's just a case of folding it in half right sides together and matching up the two short ends so you're going to match up those two short ends pin those and stitch finish your seam and then we'll look at adding it into the neck of the t-shirt itself now i've got my neck roll piece completed. I'm going to turn it the right side out and then fold it in half wrong sides together. So I'm going to match up that back seam and just pop a pin through there to hold those in place. And then we need to find the quarters. So if that's going to be my centre back if I even everything out, then this point here is going to be my centre front, and I'll put a pin just there. And now if I even everything out again, put the centre front and the centre back pins together, then on each side I can find where the quarters are, and put another pin there. Um, one here and this is going to help us make sure that we get the neck roll nice and evenly into the t-shirt neck edge itself so now that's done I'm just going to pop that to one side and bring the t-shirt itself back and we need to do exactly the same thing so I'm going to fold it in half shoulder to shoulder and that will help me find the centre back, so that's the centre back of the neckline, just there, exactly the same for the front, find the centre front, just there. Now if I put those two pins together and take this out to the side, I can find my quarters in here. And the same on the other side. I'm going to turn the t-shirt right side out. Uh, 
and it's going to go down through the centre of my roll. I'll pull the bottom of the t-shirt out the bottom. Now if I find the centre back of my neck roll and find the centre back of my t-shirt, there we go. I'm going to match up those two pins and I'll use one pin just there, the other pin just there. Okay, so that's my centre back. And I'll do the same with my centre front. So I've got the centre front of the neck roll. I need to find the centre front of the t-shirt. That's just there. So I'll match up those raw edges and just put those two pins in the centre there nice and close together. And then the same again for the quarters. one over here. Make sure that my raw edges are nice and even. I'll get all three layers together. One pin. Second pin. Okay, so now the neck roll and the neck edge are matched up. But the neck roll itself is smaller than the internal measurement of the neck. So if you take each quarter and you'll need to stretch out the neck roll until it meets the same length as the neckline edge. So I'm going to stretch them until I find the centre of the two. Match those up with another pin. And then you can either go around and just um, stretch again. That's the next part there. And pin. Or if you prefer, you can just stretch as you sew. Like that is there. It's entirely up to you. If you're new to fitting a neckline like this, you probably want to um, pin the whole thing. So as you go around each quarter, stretch the neck roll to match the neck edge. So add your edges there nice and evenly. Pin them in place. I'll carry on pinning all the way around and then I'll come back. So once you finish pinning, it's going to look a bit like this. It's going to look a little bit odd because you'll have the, the neck roll here on the outside and you'll have the t-shirt right side out, poking out from down at the bottom, but that's going to be absolutely fine. So now starting at the centre back, you're going to stitch through all those three layers. You'll probably need to stretch the fabric a little bit as you sew, just to make sure that everything's going to be meeting up exactly. You don't want to get any puckers, especially in the um, fabric for the t-shirt body itself. So make sure that everything's nice and smooth as you sew over it so that you don't get any puckers. Okay, I'll do that and then I'll meet you back here. So now our t-shirt is nearly finished. The neck is in and I've checked and all the layers have been caught. Haven't got any puckers. It's all looking very nice. So we're nearly finished. We just have to take care of the sleeves and the bottom hem. Now I have a separate tutorial video on how to hem knits and how to use a twin needle. And I will put the link in the pattern instructions on how to find that. So I suggest the twin needle does give a really nice finish. If you don't have the option of using a twin needle, then it'll be very simple. All you need to do is just try on your top find out where you like your sleeves and your hemline to fit and just turn in a small amount, pin all the way around and then stitch. Um, make sure that you use a stitch which has got plenty of stretch so that you'll be easily able to get your arms in and out and the stitches won't break and complete the um, bottoms of your sleeves just there. Do the same for the bottom. Again a twin needle looks nice but it's optional. You can always just um, turn turn this under and do a small zigzag or a stretch stitch 
and that will look lovely. And that will be it. Your honour roll t-shirt will be completed. Don't forget to drop over to So So Easy to pick up the free pattern. And there's lots of other free patterns on there. I'll be delighted to see you. Thanks for watching.